Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Jared Bankins. You're now watching the Venom vlog with my homie Seek. Now don't forget to catch me as Isaac and Sony Pictures Venom, premiering October 5th, 2018 in theaters. And you can also catch me on Sci-Fi Channel and USA Network's The Purge, premiering September 4th, 2018. Enjoy the show. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And I know this is not the video you guys wanted me to make. You were hoping a trailer would come out today at Comic-Con, and I was hoping that too, and I was pretty sure and led to believe that, and was even told that by a few sources. Uh, but the trailer did happen, it did release at Comic-Con, but for very reasonable reasons, it is not coming out to the public, not yet. So before we get into everything in this video and before I break down this trailer, I will tell you that this trailer is coming and it's coming soon. And it could be as soon as a week or two from now, but it could also be as late as maybe three to four weeks from now, depending on what they're gonna show because they're not gonna show this exact thing. They'll probably show a version of it with some of the clips from here. So unfortunately, I can't show any of the footage. I can't you know do anything other than describe what I saw so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and uh, and we are going to break it down. And so normally I do like a trailer reaction video and a breakdown video. But this time I'm going to full on just do them both in one. We're going to talk about each thing I saw. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on them. And then what I want you guys to do is comment down below. Ask any questions you might have or any theories you might have. And we will definitely make a second video where I react to all of yours and try to answer all your comments. So please let me know your thoughts down below after you watch everything in this video. So you got the full story of what's in this trailer. And also, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Jared Bankins. As you saw, one of the actors from the Venom movie and the upcoming Purge TV show, Mr. Jared Bankins, who plays Isaac in this new movie. And you saw in the trailer, the, one of the first trailers, that he is locked in a room by Carlton Drake. And he looks like he has a lab coat on or something. And, uh, and a symbiote you know, reaches out and grabs at him. So he could be possibly uh, a villain in this movie. We have no idea. I have no idea. I certainly don't ask the guy personal questions like that. I know all actors. I'm friends with a lot of actors in LA. And I know they have NDAs and everything like that. And I would never want to break that trust. I would never want to pry into their, you know, their work life like that. Um, I'm just excited, though, that this guy has reached out to me that he has watched the show that he was a fan and that he reached out to his people like his management team you know and his agent and all that and he got approval to make that video for you guys and we have two videos from him so i played one here at the beginning of this and i will save the other one for whenever the trailer comes out for our trailer reaction i'll post the other one there so really nice guy big shout out to him i'm going to put a link to his instagram down below make sure you follow the guy show him some love and thank him for being a part of the venom vlog family all right, without further ado, let's dive into what happened at this panel at Comic-Con. So Sony started off the panel and they actually started with Into the Spider-Verse and they did a whole like 30, 40 minutes on that. And then the last half of their panel was dedicated to Venom. And so what they did to celebrate this was that everyone on their seats and everyone coming into the theater, they were given Venom masks. And I'm actually gonna post a picture here from uh, Patrick McKinley, who I found on Twitter, who yes, I am on Twitter. I was told by someone that it would be very good and, and in my best interest, especially trying to expand this show and get, you know, to be part in some way of like, you know, following the trend of Venom news and getting information. Um, they told me that I should be on Twitter. And even though I quit Twitter like, you know, a year and a half, two years ago, I decided, okay, I'll do a Twitter account for Venom vlog and I'll only post Venom stuff. I'll retweet other Venom news. And I'll just post, you know, links to my videos. And that is all I'm going to do. And so the account is up. It's at Venom Vlog. So you can follow it if you want, if you're on Twitter. And that'll be someplace where I'll post information. So if it's like going to take me a day or two to get, you know, to make a video and I'm running behind because of my work schedule, I'll post information over there so you know what content I'm going to be making my next videos on so you can read up on them before I make the videos so we can have our conversations in the chat. And before we go any further, I just want to tell you guys there is going to be movie spoilers here. So if you don't want any spoilers, I would recommend and you tune away now. I know some of you guys might not care or you might think I'm not being serious, but there definitely is. And granted, this information is going to get that on, you know, out there on the internet and it's probably going to be shown in the next trailer anyway. And I'm hoping it's not giving you know too much away. I hope this isn't them giving away their doomsday shot like the Batman vs Superman trailer did. I hope there's still more twists and turns in this movie beyond some of the stuff I'm going to talk about. Um, but I just want to warn you in case you want a little bit of a cleaner slate going in this movie, now's a good time to turn back. But if you're down for learning a little bit more, especially the, the identity of the main villain of the film, or one of the main villains, probably, then proceed. 
in the footage we saw, we learned a little bit more about Dr. Carlton Drake, kind of like his interests and what he wants. He kind of wants super soldiers. Uh, we, you know, kind of get a hint at that. I'm, I'm wondering still if they're doing the, you know, the, the backstory from the comics where Riz Ahmed works with a bunch of one percenters and they want to be protected, you know, if the world goes into an apocalypse scenario and they want to build like an underground facility where they can all be housed and lived and survive like in some to you know type of cryostasis or something and then have these super soldiers on ground fighting off any threats that might come at them and that follow, you know, the will of that, of that Carlton Drake, you know, uh, thrust upon them. You know, he's in control of them. And that's kind of what his goal was in the comics. He used other things like the Tri-Sentinel and he, you know, tried other, you know, people and characters in the Marvel Universe and he tried this scenario and it never worked. So his last ditch effort basically was symbiotes. So I don't know if we're going to get that kind of story, but it does seem like he needs super soldiers for something, some kind of, you know, preparation, um, you know, plan that he has so oh, i don't know too much more I, I didn't get like a full glimpse of of like what's in his head but then also we see that he's experimenting on people so you saw in the first couple trailers you saw um a jared bankins obviously isaac get locked in a room and a symbiote comes at him uh you also see uh, mr bats i think that was another gentleman we talked about on the show before and i'll link his instagram down below great guy uh he is like strapped to a table and you see him screaming and something's happening to him so it seems like there are more than just one symbiote Obviously, we knew that. We knew Venom was going to be one, and we saw in the trailer at least two, but there might even be more than that. Um, we do see a girl in, in the trailer, and this was something I had to confirm because when I watched the footage, I wasn't really sure. Uh, things went by quick, and I was writing things down at, you know, as things were happening, so I confirmed it with somebody that it was a girl in the trailer who was seemed to have a symbiote on her arm and was making like axe shapes or like weapons out of it and then also i think we saw i like i thought we saw eddie brock doing it too so i was like oh wait what did i see in the footage so i'm sorry that i'm not 100 percent on this you know i was trying to write things down at the same time so i apologize i should have just ingested it as much as i could and try to remember it but i didn't want to rely on my memory considering it's not always that great uh but we do see symbiote action with you know weapons being made and tools being made to do stuff so that's pretty neat that is something that carnage mostly did in the comics uh but it's something that we've seen eddie brock he's made shields before and he's made other things so it's kind of cool seeing the symbiotes come to life like that and make something that their hosts need to survive essentially one of the interesting things that we saw and we got more information on was the duality of eddie brock um, and i think they even said this in one of the interviews was that when tom hardy's walking down the street and he's talking to the symbiote and you're kind of like all right in the first trailers we just saw eddie brock and everyone's like oh my god is this eddie brock the movie or what well there actually are times when the symbiote will come out of him it'll grow like a venom type head out of his neck or out of his shoulder and it'll form and talk with him and so you actually see both you know beings talking to each other and in one of the, at the panel they talked about how tom hardy or maybe it was on one of the interviews but tom they said uh reuben fleischer said tom hardy would wear an earpiece and he recorded all the lines as the venom voice because he also does the venom voice which we confirmed before but it was definitely confirmed here too at the panel um he recorded all those lines early and he you know had it in an earpiece so he would hear it and then respond to it so that's how he filmed those scenes uh so that way he could get uh you know his reaction time to what was being said down, you know, solid. And so that way it seemed more organic. So I thought that was pretty neat. So you do get to see the suit form ahead, which we've seen in the comics before when Eddie's like standing there and the suit will like pull off his back and form like, you know, the top half of Venom behind him or something. You see things like that in the comics. So it's pretty neat to see that here because it, it just makes things visually more interesting. Because obviously if he was just sitting there talking to, you know, out loud uh, with nothing there, nothing visual there, that would come across like the movie Upgrade, which that's what that movie did. And that was on a very low budget. So this movie is trying to add those visuals in there to make it visually more interesting and add that sci-fi element and that horror element. So you will see the suit kind of like that or in shadow behind him with eyes or something. Like there are, there's something physical there uh, visually that they're adding in and post when he's talking to himself. So I thought that was really cool and came across pretty creepy at times. There also was a pretty good line in this trailer. There was a couple actually, uh, but the one that stood out and I saw this on Twitter too, a lot of people were tweeting this line out, uh, which is good because I couldn't write, I didn't write down the whole line. So it was like, oh good, I can get the, the thing I missed. Uh, so there is a line where Venom says, you know, eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. <laughs> and it's like, wow. I mean, it's it shows you that he is really like this, you know, like I'm totally willing to eat humans, you know, kind of thing. And uh, that plays up. That's actually going to tie into something that happens at the end of this trailer 
which we will definitely talk about. And we'll also talk about, you know, leading into the rating of it, which we'll get into more in another episode, but we'll at least talk about a little bit here based on how visceral the footage got. And another thing we saw, which is why Riz Ahmed was there in person, was that we got a confirmation on one of the major villains of the film, or at least a name of one of the, you know, symbiotes that is being used from the comics. So we know in Lethal Protector, we had like, you know, Riot, Phage, Lasher, agony and scream and we know about that so i'm guessing the girl in the glass you know or like when she was like using the axe or whatever on her hand and stuff that she is maybe either agony or scream and now that you know that was confirmed to me i was like oh, okay there was a girl in the trailer okay i must have missed that part um so that you know i'm, I'm going to guess that that is going to be either one of those two characters and she maybe has a small part because they did say that the villain they reveal is a major villain in the film, but there are gonna be some other villains. And they may not last long or they may die in the experimental process, you know, we don't know, uh, but we did get confirmation that the main villain, at least, is Riot. And Riot is one of the five symbiotes. And in this version, Riot is a little different. Uh, he can inhabit any body, like, instantly. He can jump body to body, and you don't know who he is. It's a lot like Azazel from the movie Fallen. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, uh, but that movie was really awesome. It's Denzel Washington, and I think John Goodman is one of the, you know, his partner, his police partner. And he's a cop who is after this demon on Earth. So a serial killer in that movie goes around and kills a bunch of people. And he, you actually find out there's a demon in him making that person kill all these people. So then when that guy gets the, you know, electrocution chair and he gets killed in prison, the demon leaves his body and then can transfer to other people by touch. And it's, you know... You, you know, it's invisible. You don't see it. It's naked to the eye. So uh, so that added a really creepy element. It immediately made me think of that movie Fallen. And so I was writing that note down like, oh, mention Fallen. That's a great movie. Uh, but that's how Riot acts. He could jump from anybody and you don't know. So it makes me wonder if maybe he'll jump to Anne Weying in a scene and maybe we'll get uh, not really she venom, but you'll see Michelle Williams, you know, lash out once and then Eddie like, you know, knocks it out of her or saves her or something or she resists it and it goes away and it goes you know on to you know dr carlton drake because we find out in this footage that the riot suit does end up on riz ahmed's character and that's kind of why this trailer uh focused on him and like i said why he was there at the panel to promote this part of the you know promotional tour of the movie is he was like all right and if you're going to show off stuff of my character and you're going to reveal me as a villain and as a symbiote I should be there in person. So this was something we speculated on. We, I kind of figured he would become some kind of monster uh, because in the Arachnus project in the comics, that's what happens to him. And Venom shows up in that Spider-Man six issue miniseries. And even though this movie is not based off it, that is the trajectory of his character. He does become a monster. So I figured they might do something like that for this movie. And it looks like that's what they're doing. So that was the big news they dropped on us. We had this big battle between Venom in the trailer and we had Riot. And Riot looked kind of silvery, uh, but at the same time, uh, that could be the effects not being done. I mean, it looked okay to me, uh, but I feel like it's still a lot of work they got to do on this movie in general. Um, so I don't know if he's going to stay silver or what's he, what's he going to be. Look like light gray, kind of silver. Uh, but the battle was intense and seeing these two creatures go at it was intense and venom was big as shit and the fight was pretty brutal and they don't show everything obviously it was just like snippets and stuff but it was it's pretty crazy and it's very visceral so it clearly they're pushing that r rating and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute because the way this trailer ends it definitely makes you think they're going to go full r with this movie uh but that battle is just it's nasty it's brutal and uh and like i said he comes across a little silverish a little light gray but that could be fixed we don't know um, but then there was a shot of their, their symbiotes peeling back to reveal Eddie Brock underneath and Carlton Drake. And that definitely could use some work in, in CG. So I'm sure that's why, again, why some of these shots, they were picked for the con to get people excited and show them, hey, you know, you're going to get more than five minutes of Venom in this movie. It's, you're going to get some really intense action. You're going to get some stuff that pushes the envelope and that gets, you know, pushes in into that R rating. Um, so we're, we're totally going to be up front with you and show you all this stuff. But it is early. And so you're not seeing finished product. Product. And so I think that's why people in the audience got so excited and are, you know, giving it a pass. If they put something like this online, I don't think people will be forgiven because, you know, people will go, well, dude, it's not even finished yet. They didn't even finish the CG. You know, it's, and we already kind of got that in the last trailer when we got the Venom shot and he looked really gooey and stuff. That is kind of a look they have for him, depending on the lighting and stuff. But there are shots of him where he looks a little bit smoother and a little bit more rigid. Um, so, you know, I'm just saying they're still working on a lot of stuff. And I think this time they were like, hey, this stuff just legit isn't done and we can show it to Comic-Con because people in the audience will buy into the fact that it's early access footage. But if we put this online, 
you know, fans would, would crucify us. And so I respect their decision to do that. And I know a lot of you guys are upset by that and you wanted your trailer, you know, but just be a little bit more patient. I promise you we're going to get it. Hopefully this video will suffice for now and at least give us something to talk about. And then hopefully we'll get a really in-depth trailer or not an in-depth trailer, but at least a version of this uh, with finished special effects and visual effects, uh, you know, to us very soon. And, and that's what I've been told. So my fingers are crossed that we get it sooner soon than later soon. I will also point out that in this shot, we got a full Venom look, like a full look at him, head to toe, full on look. And he does not have the spider logo on his chest. Now granted, again, special effects aren't done. They could still try to put something there, but really it's exactly like I said way back when we saw the, or not way back, but you know, a while back when we saw the first trailer and that first image of him with the veins, it is pretty much a black, solid black body broken up with white veins. And that's kind of how the symbiotes look. I mean, we saw that one kind of bluish one in the first trailer, uh, or the, the major trailer, not the teaser, but we saw that first one kind of come up and go towards Jared Bankins. That one had like a blue hint to it with some orange going through it. And that's kind of how these things look. Uh, these things are, are that. They're one color broken up with veins of a, a completely different color to just kind of offset how solid black, you know, wouldn't look good, like I always said. So this, you know, on film, having the white break it up is cool, but 100% confirmed, at least for now, at least in this trailer, unless they decide to change it later. But for this head to toe shot of Venom, he was big as a house, <laughs> not that big, obviously I'm exaggerating a little, but he was big and there was no spider on his chest. Uh, and this was shown during the battle with Carlton Drake as Riot. So that's pretty cool. And then hearing that Riot jumps from body to body again, it makes me just come up with a, a million theories of what other characters in the movie he'll jump into because it looks like he might play like a mind game with Eddie Brock a little bit of who he's going to go into next. And then he ends up with Carlton Drake. So maybe there's still some surprises there of other characters in the movie that that Riot will possess. But it seems like Riot is going to be their main focus as far as the, the head of these five villains. And I kind of thought they were going to go the Scream route. Uh, I thought she was more noticeable and more known by fans than Riot, but maybe they felt Riot was more of a cleaner slate and they could do more with that character that, you know, that they could, if they were telling a certain story, it would betray Scream by doing her in this version. So maybe they're like, hey, Riot's kind of a, a cleaner slate. We can go that route. So I'm interested to see what you guys think of that, of Riot being kind of the main antagonist for Venom in this one but not the only antagonist. There are definitely mentioned other villains, possibly even another major one that most fans know, which they mentioned at the panel. So I think that was a hint towards Carnage. And as we know, if Woody Harrelson is playing the character, that he might end up in the next film as Carnage. So uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of interesting things here. They also said that there's no heroes in this movie. So if you think there's gonna be like this big white and shining moment, it's not really like that, uh, that this movie is more about an anti-hero or someone like Eddie Brock wants to do good but once he gets that suit he kind of gives in to some of the bad and uh and so one of the big things is the way this trailer ends uh where you know eddie brock or venom is holding on to a guy and just like he said in the quote on entertainment weekly last week uh tom hardy did venom straight up bites some dude's head off and now granted they cut it and it's kind of off panel but it's just full on like and it just comes right down and it's like cuts um, but I'm telling you, like, and now I'm pretty sure that's going to be, you know, in the next trailer too, when, cause I'm sure they're going to not going to show everything that was in this trailer. They might tweak it some or add in different footage and kind of clean it up with stuff and give more time to finish maybe the riot CG. So they may not show a lot of riot, but I think like whatever the next trailer is, it's probably going to end with this head biting scene and it'll end with that cut. But I'm thinking the movie itself will probably show the mouth go in, the teeth go in and, you know, blood spray everywhere, who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, but it definitely seems like they're gonna push that R rating and that scene made me think, holy crap, they're going full R and holy crap, Eddie, not only with the eyes, lungs, pancreas line where he's talking about eating someone as a snack, uh, but seeing him actually do it. Definitely got the audience going and definitely got me going when I watched this footage and I freaked the F out. Anyway, so that was basically what went down. Uh, there was some a couple other little things in there. And like I said, this was the main stuff I wanted to write down because there were some shots that were the same stuff we've seen before, a couple other angles of just, you know, other, you know, characters like Michelle Williams and stuff. So nothing really major. This was, to me, I thought the noteworthy stuff, uh, the stuff that I saw. But uh, yeah, there's a re obviously really neat stuff. And I know a lot of you guys, this is going to make you be angry on some level and be like, I want to see this, I want to see this. But trust me, 
it's just better for all of us if this gets worked on a little bit more. And, uh, and, and you know, that's sometimes what happens at Comic-Con. They just give something just for that audience. Uh, obviously, everyone there got the masks and they had a good time and they got to see Tom Hardy and Riz Ahmed and Ruben Fleischer and they already got a lot of bonuses already. Uh, and so you're like, ah, oh, but they why the footage too, you know? Uh, but I promise, you know, everyone is working really hard on this movie in post-production and it's not that they don't want to show stuff. They just don't want to go back into what happened in that first teaser where there was a lot of negativity coming off that first teaser because there was really, you know, no venom in it. And even though I like the teaser a lot and I like that it showed the tone of the movie and the direction they kind of want to go in and the visual style of Ruben Fleischer and Maddie Libatique's, you know, uh, cinematography, there were just so many cool things in that first teaser that I appreciated on like a film level and not so much like, you know, it being a Venom adaptation. Uh, but obviously that's what it is. And so the second trailer, I think, shined a lot brighter in that and turned a couple people's heads to it. And I promise when a, whatever version of this trailer comes out, it will do the same thing. I think uh, from what I heard from that panel, uh, no one in there was like upset by this, you know, for the most part. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some detractors out there and people who weren't like 100% into it for sure. I'm not going to speak for everyone, uh, but it seemed like there was a lot of excitement and everything. And then certainly when I saw it, I was very excited and it got me just really pumped. Um, so, you know, don't don't worry. You won't have to wait too, too long to see a version of this. I promise uh, it is being worked on and people are working really hard at it. So just give them time. Be a little bit, of, you know, a little patient with them. And I know that's asking a lot, but trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. You want to, to see this at its fullest and at its best. And that is the way it deserves to be seen. So it's it's OK. It makes sense that these people got an early access to it because they know going to Comic-Con, they're going to see unfinished products. Uh, but obviously, unfinished products should not go online when you're promoting a movie. You want the very best out there. And Sony's trying to deliver that. So if they need a few more weeks, you know, we should just give it to them. But I promise you guys, it'll be worth the wait. So that's everything I have, at least all the notes I took. Uh, but there's, if there's other things you guys want to talk about, you know, let me know down below. If there's questions you have, I'll do my best to answer them down below. Um, and then, like I said, I will make a, se a separate video later where I read your comments and respond to them because we do that with every trailer. And since we don't have a trailer this time, I'll do my best to just, you know, respond to your comments. And if I need to clarify something in the, in the comments down below, I'll do that. So that way, when I respond, I can read the conversation you and I have. So that way, people following uh, that video can understand what's being talked about. So we'll do our best. And, uh, and then over the next few videos, I'll talk more about movie stuff. And then also on the 30th of July, I'll have the Venom Marvel Legends toys uh, collection in my hands. So the beginning of August, I will make those videos for you guys and we'll do, you know, kind of a review of all six toys and the seventh Monster Venom Build-A-Figure. And I want to thank you guys for watching my last video where I just basically put, a, you know, some footage of the toys that I shot at Comic-Con and put some music over it. And I know I used copyright music and I did that intentionally. I was trying to get a, a cool song that I really like out there, something I was listening to while I was at the convention and like walking around like with headphones on and stuff. Um, so it, it was a song that I was, it was like one of the songs of the con for me. I downloaded like 20 songs and that was one of them. And I listened to it on repeat a lot. I liked the tone and the, the vibe of it, but I know it's not available in some countries. That video or episode 206 is not available in every country. So I apologize for that. I will do my best not to do that anymore. And I'll just find some royalty free music that kind of at least fits the vibe of the video I'm trying to make. So I promise I won't do that again to you guys. But if you couldn't see that video, check out Tricky uh, and uh, featuring Scriptonite, I think is her name. And they do a song called Blood of My Blood. And it's on the ununiformed soundtrack uh, that he put out or the album and uh and it's tricky's awesome i grew up listening to trip hop portis head massive attack uh, bjork and everyone and i just i love that style of music and i love tricky and i'm so glad he's still making music so i wanted to put a sample of his song in that video so for those of you who were able to watch it i hope you liked it if you didn't go download that song it's freaking awesome and once again, thank you, Jared Bankins, for the intro. I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. Everyone, go support this guy. Follow him on Instagram. Show him some love. Tell him the Venom vlog sent you. He's one of us. We are Venom. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.